Hello guys, I'm Almost Addicted and welcome to our first day of Build School. So today I'm going to transform this bit of terraforming that I've done, which is completely simple and crappy, and I'm going to turn it into something that's actually quite nice and quite usable. Now I don't do terraforming like everybody else, I kind of do mine a lot different, it's a bit more messy, but you'll, you'll see why it looks a lot more realistic. So what we need to do is kind of start layering into the rock. We don't want like some simple rocks here, we've got a bit here. It just looks too square, you know? It's it's not got any pattern to it. So we've got to we start shaping it up. Get out of my way, cow. Come on, it's build school. Get out. All right, so now we've got something like this. We want to kind of layer it up, and we don't want it really bare like this. So we want to start layering it up in areas. So we'll keep it out there. Keep that up there. So we're building it round. So now we've got some stuff here. We're just using some stim simple stuff. Stimple? What is simple? I don't know. Right, so here as well, we want to kind of like build this round because it's got a bare bit. Get out of this, pig. Do you want to go in there? Do you want to go in there? Honestly, I will lock you in. Right, so now we're just building it up. This is just to give you guys some tips on, you know, how you can transform your terraforming and stuff. So now we've got something that looking a bit like this. It's shaping a bit better. So say that you want to do maybe... Hmm. So you're thinking, what am I going to do with this? Now that you start going for trees and stuff like that, thinking where you could get a tree. Maybe you could have an oak tree here. So we'll get our bone meal and we keep using it. We'll get another one here as well. Hopefully we'll get a big one as well. So we'll go like this. We've got a bigger one there. Maybe we can extend the grass and stuff like this. And then we'll get some more in. Trust me, it's gonna look beautiful. Like that as well. So now we can start putting some grass around all these bits that seem a bit bare, you know? So now what we want to do is maybe we want to build some some water like running around it. And what we're going to do for the side of the water, we're going to put sand and then we're going to put some other stuff as well. So say that we're making a little water fountain here. We could have even some water like flowing through this rock here and it comes down and lands into here. So we'll fill this all with water I'll get this all filled around here we'll see how this looks so we could keep stepping back and going hmm what can we do now maybe this bit I don't like how this flows here so we can build some more rocks around here let's see and get it around here and then we can build our rocks up and around and have some bits flowing up like that and if you don't like the flow of that water you can always block it off and then restart it so hopefully you'll get a better pattern this time, you know? So, you can build it up like that. You can maybe add some grass blocks in as well. You'll have like the odd grass blocks that's gonna be in. You could have some like bushes on these parts and near here. And near water supply, you wanna put some like sugar cane and stuff like that. You wanna start building some sand in now. Put, build some sand in, build some sandy areas. You want it completely random. You don't want like, you know, blocky bits. You want it so it, it works. Maybe some odd bits like there and stuff like that. Some at the other side, you could have some poking in like that. Building into the thing. So you're kind of building it round like this. You don't want any kind of solitary on their own because they look a bit crap when they're like that. You can even build it up like this. So you're having the sand that's going up here. So you've got like a sandy area that's like banked up there. Let's go, like, let's have a look around. So now we want to build this out here. So we'll get some more sand here. We can have this water still flowing through this area. We can have it flowing through to this as well. We can have the, the one there. Right, so now we'll pull this back. We'll get all this back. So making sure it's all random. You, you kind of don't want like big blocks that, so it looks all crappy. Let's put some here, put some here. Right, you'll, you'll see when you go back and then you want to like build it up, you're gonna have like some bits of grass so you can actually put you know your sugar cane and stuff like that like you'll have short bits long bits in some areas hmm that's nice right so now we want to do the grass like say get some andesite you can get some cobblestone as well because you don't want just bare stone rocks you want some bits that are a bit different and breaking it up you know so it kind of doesn't look all bare doesn't look all the same you can have some bits of andesite coming through here you can have some rocky up areas like that. So you're kind of building it around like this, you know? So it's not all the same. You don't want all this plain the same. It's crap. It's plain, plain Jane. 
You don't want none of that rubbish. So we'll get some cobblestone up here. We'll get some up here as well. We can even have these cobblestones that's around the trees as well. Let's get some here. Get some flowing around here as well. And then we get our andesite as well. Get that all mixed in with it. We can even do some on the ground as well. So we'll have some coming here. We'll have some random spots that will have like bits of stuff like that. And I think the coal works really well. People neglect the coal as well because you get bits of coal in there. So people would be mining in there. It'd be like specks of dirt and stuff like that. So maybe some coal in there. Now we can have some stuff on top here. We can have like bits here. We can have some coal coming from there. And then we can have, maybe we can have the odd bit of like iron and stuff like that. And like iron ores like scattered about. So you're kind of like, you're building it up in that sort of manner. I mean, you can have like an extra area where you can just build it up and you can build this round. And this could be just a flat area where you could have like a bunch of trees here. So we'd fill all this in kind of thing. And we can get some trees on here. We can actually, we could get the water to flow around this as well, which I think would look quite nice. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can do. So hopefully you'll get like some tips from this, from landscaping and you're not just doing the plain Jane landscaping that everybody else is doing. I think one guy did a tutorial and everybody else just copied it. I've kind of like, um, if you ask any any of my mates, nobody does landscaping like me. I kind of like, I do something a bit different. Mine's a bit like, I don't know, I, I like to stay ahead of the game, you know? All right, so we'll get some, uh, some stuff here. We'll get our um, bone meal out. We'll grow these trees. We can even make trees as well. I'll I'll do a tutorial in um, maybe another episode if you want me to build some trees. Because um, I'm pretty good at building the trees. I'm good at doing like custom oak trees and stuff like that. Right, so now we're going to get some grass around here. We'll get some plants. Just absolutely layer it all over the place. And then we can go over it in bits that don't look too well. So then we can add a little bit. So you, you make him want to, you want to cover up this dirt kind of thing around the edges because otherwise, otherwise it can look quite messy. Let's get, we'll get it going all the way around here as well. She so just absolutely, it's, it's like a creative flair that you've got. You've got to keep going at it and like adding bits. Let's get some more, more stuff here as well. We can have it going down here because you'd have rocks flowing down here as well. Let's have a look. You can even have like a lava spot. So you could have like, maybe there's bits of lava that's flowing down here. Let's have a look. So we get the lava in here. It's just like little added extra bits just to make it a, a little bit more detailed, you know? Like we could have, could have a spot here. Yeah, it's probably gonna burn down the tree, so I'm not gonna, but we can have like spots missing and stuff like that where it's, it's coming out. You can just fall straight down kind of thing. You know, you just want all sorts of like random sort of things that you can do. Like that, it's looking a lot nicer altogether now. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Nice little flowing landscape and stuff like that. And you can just keep building onto it. I mean, you could have like a mountain that comes up behind here. You can add more trees so that you want this back area to look a lot less bare. You can get loads more trees around here, scat them together. When you do get some of the big trees that come out, it does look really, really nice. So like, even if you can't do the big trees and you can't make them custom, you can always just keep doing them until you, there you go, look, you've got some nice big ones in there. Get this flowing around here. And you've got a nice front and you can see the trees at the back as well. So I think it makes it look really nice. Let's have a look. You've got to have your added touches of bushes and stuff. You can add your own custom bushes because obviously Minecraft doesn't have its own bushes. So we can add our own in, can't we? Why not? So now we get the bushes. We can obviously look at that like behind. It's like a forest behind. So we'll get some bushes out and we can do makeshift bushes now. So we'd have like maybe we'd have a bush that was flowing up here. We'd have like a little bush spot here. We can even have some up here as well, like covering these rock areas. Come down there. You can have like different colored ones. So you can have some darker ones in areas as well. Some darker bush that's flowing in there. And it's just making the landscape look that little bit better. So you could have some flowing around here. You probably have some bushes here. You can obviously take out bits of grass. So you'd have quite a big bush here. And then you take out your grass. 
you can put some more spots in just some random spots and then you can like let's see we can get some more we can get like some little ferns we can use the large ferns as well so we can get some in there like that some large ferns here some scattered about in the grass because you don't want this just ordinary sort of like looking stuff I just think it looks a lot better if you start adding your own sort of thing I mean look at that compared to a normal Minecraft world you've, you've got like a lot more detail there's a lot more stuff you can do to it you can even add little pebbles and stones I mean look at this we can now ever since the update we can have like little pebbles going around and stuff little stones on here you know just making the rock look a little bit different and it just cuts it up a little bit better so you have like little stones and pebbles about so you'd have some in the grass like here and here and here say you'd come across and uh, I don't know you might have like a little fence as well you'd have like a little fencing area that someone's tried to build something along the way and it's been a walkway just little things that you can cut it up like in little areas just to give it that little bit more detail, you know? Right, let's have a look. Get out of my way. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Anyway, guys, this is the first episode. Hopefully you like this. It's just something really simple. A little rockway of how you can turn like a little mountain like that into something that looks like a Minecraft world. Or maybe even a little bit better than a Minecraft world, so... I mean, if there's bits you don't like, say you don't like that bit, you can delete it out and stuff like that. It's just all personal preference. And when it comes... Oh, excuse me. When it comes to, like, trees and stuff like that, you want, like, hanging trees and stuff like that. I think that looks really, really nice. I'll do it in maybe the next episode. Make sure you, uh, you comment down below what you want to see next because, uh, yeah, it'll really help me out. So you can have some hanging trees like this and stuff like that just really makes it a lot better and you can add your bushes and stuff and it just makes your minecraft world that look that little bit better you know obviously i'll go into trees at a later date but yeah comment down below guys what you want to see next on build school and this is little basic terraforming so there we go guys catch you later peace I've got a